Good morning everyone. So it is currently 10 to 7 and for breakfast this morning I have chopped up one pink lady apple and one conference pear and I've got a coffee. Um, thank you again to everyone that's just joined the channel. Um, please like, keep liking the videos. It means the absolute world to me. Um, I'm loving how this journey is going so far and I'm loving all of your comments. I try to get back to each and every one of you. Um, so thank you for taking the time to even comment on the videos. And yes, I do have very, very cheeky children. <laughs> um, and guess what? I got burnt yesterday. So maybe I should have put some sun cream on myself. But never mind. Um, so yeah, this is breakfast and I will come back to you with either my snack or my lunch. See you soon. So it is 10.36. I'm getting a bit peckish, so I've just bit a pear. I'm going to have a Diet Coke as well. I've got my hydrate mate somewhere. So yeah, I am going to eat this and then I'm going to do some cleaning, I think, while the girls have a chill out. So yeah, so today's lunch is pretty much the same as yesterday. It's just a chicken with cucumber, tomato and onion roll, uh, my 60 gram wholemeal roll. And what I do is I'll buy the pack of six and then I'll just put them in the freezer and take one out at a time and zap them in the microwave for a minute. And they're perfect. So, um, cause not everyone really likes rolls in this house. So. I'll just keep them in the freezer and I've got a packet of pea snaps for four. I'm still drinking my Diet Coke. Um, I've got Metafit later. So I'm going to probably do a bolognese or something for when I come back. Um, just so it's cooked and ready for me to eat because I'm always so hungry when I've finished working out. I've got a couple of bits of extra tomato that I'm going to munch on as well. So yeah, this is today's lunch. So I've had lunch and I don't know if anyone ever gets it where they feel like they need to have something really sweet after they've had like quite a savoury lunch but anyway I'm going to have one of these groovy biscuits from Aldi and a coffee and these are six sins. They're not a bad size. I'll, let me see if I can open it for you and show you what they look like. They're quite nice. They've got um like, hold on they've got the biscuit base and then they've got like toffee or caramel in the middle and then obviously the chocolate with little like smarty type things on top so yeah not bad for six sims just for a little sweet treat um and you get a mix of everything you get biscuit chocolate caramel so yeah you're winning so i just thought i'd quickly show you how i whip up my quick super super quick um spaghetti bolognese i just used 500 grams of the lean mince beef the five percent fat one so i've defrosted that you'll see my pasta we're using this pasta rather than spaghetti i've just got from aldi the frozen onions peppers and mushrooms so they're just a bowl full of the frozen onion mushrooms and peppers a passata i'm using the 700 gram one i'll we'll probably only use half of that and that's from aldi it's got extra garlic in it hello and then i'm going to use a tablespoon of garlic probably the rest of that onion salt and two beef oxo cubes just fry it all off add your pasta hold on and um cook off your pasta so yeah i'm sorry about the screaming so when this is frying off i am just gonna add my two beef stock cubes because there's quite a bit of excess water where they've been frozen. I just find that's the best way to soak the water up. And then I will add my beef. I've also got my pasta on to boil. Because honestly this takes about the time it cooks to pasta for this to be cooked. So I'd recommend getting your pasta cooking as well. Did you know as well if you squish down an oxo cube it makes a little bag. I said, who did I see it? I think it might have been Katie Jane actually that said that and then I was like oh my goodness that's amazing so yeah that's how I do that as well now right so as you can see I've cooked the mince through so now I'm just gonna add in 
my passata but you can see the oxo cubes just give it like a nice sort of gravy as well so it just adds loads and loads of flavour into it all so now I'm going to add about half of the um, passata into this and I'll show you what that looks like in a so second. once this starts to bubble I am just going to turn it down to a low heat so that it can simmer whilst we wait for the pasta to cook and that will just soften all the meat up as well. So there we go. So this is going to feed everyone. Plus, I've got loads left uh, left over that would do for another dinner for everyone as well. So yeah, this is what it looks like. There's loads of speed in there. I know there's not extra speed on the side, but I'm working out. So when I get home from Meta, all I've got to do is warm this up. Um, yeah, so this is a meal that the whole family really do enjoy as well. So, yeah, that's dinner tonight. So, we have just left Aldi and are walking to Metapower. Got the old dab dab dabber over there. Show me your gap. <laughs> so, we are treating Kai to a fidget spinner because he's going to come and sit and be a good boy, aren't you? Yeah, and he got me sweets. And I got him sweets. Um, so yeah, he's excited for the two fairy to come. I'm having a pair, and we are walking to Meta Power. So I'll see you after. So I'm home from Meta. I'm going to have my dinner, and I've got two satsumas for after. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope everyone enjoyed the what I ate today. Um, tomorrow I think I'm going to do a bit of an Aldi haul or an Asda haul, I'm not sure yet, but I shall see you all tomorrow.